giving a voice to the voiceless. This was the theme of Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne's visit to the Luzo Canadian Charitable Society's Peel Centre. Community members, including relatives of those who use the centre, gathered to discuss their needs and concerns with the Premier in the hopes of inspiring change. If we work hard and work together, we can find ways to support each other. Because fundamentally, I believe that in Ontario, in Canada, we want to care for each other. We want to find ways to do together, through government, the things that we can't do alone. The Luzo Canadian Charitable Society was founded in 2003 with the objective of providing care and support to those with physical and developmental disabilities age 18 and older. The organization has three locations in Toronto, Hamilton, and now Mississauga, serving over 200 clients. Vice President Lena Barreto says much of the support given to children with developmental disabilities comes through school programs, but once they graduate high school, access to help becomes limited. Há programas em Ontário que apoiam uh, o cuido e a educação de, de utentes até os 18 anos. Portanto, enquanto andam na escola, eles estão integrados na, na escola básica e primária e secundária. E uh, uma vez que aquilo uh, acaba, eles não têm mais nenhum programa. Este programa faz muita falta, nem só para, o, para os utentes uh, que assistam aos programas, mas também para os pais que cuidam deles. Those with developmental disabilities age 18 and older can apply for passport funding, a form of support encouraging community integration. But many parents brought up concerns over the program, including a lack of funding and long wait list times. Problems the organization continues to struggle with, says President Jack Preziers. Presentemente em Mississauga não temos ninguém na lista de espera ainda. Hamilton e Toronto já têm uma lista de espera e muito grande. Eu sei que Hamilton já estava de mais de 20 na lista de espera e Toronto chegou a ter 27 a 30 recentemente na lista de espera. Uh, não podemos aceitar todos porque não temos espaço nem condições. Uh, alguns precisam de muita ajuda, uh, precisam às vezes, alguns precisam de duas pessoas para. Uh, this, he says, is the focus of the Premier's visit, to bring attention to families who don't have access to the help they need. Temos muitos em casa que não podem vir para o centro. Temos muitos que nunca dormiram fora dos pais uma noite. Os pais nunca tiveram descanso uma vida inteira. São, são ali todos os dias, todas as noites, os pais sem poder descansar. Alguns pais trabalham um de noite e outro dia para, para aliviar a pressão que têm financeiramente e do, da criança que tem em casa. Portanto, nós queremos agora é focar nesses que precisam dessa ajuda, que não têm ajuda nenhuma. Wynn's visit comes just days ahead of this year's provincial budget, set to be tabled by Ontario Finance Minister Charles Souza at the end of the month. According to Souza, residents can expect more investment in initiatives like the Luzo Centre. Vamos investir muito mais em mental health, em saúde, em idosos e senior care, nos hospitais, também em estudantes e aqueles que estão a querer para aumentar uh, o poder da nossa gente. E é a razão que estamos a fazer um grande plano para uh, continuar a dar mais apoio àqueles que precisam de ajuda. This focus on healthcare, says Wynn, is what separates her and the Liberals from their opponents. And with the provincial election scheduled for June, her pledge comes at a strategic time. Doug Ford and all of the leadership candidates actually for the Conservatives said that they were going to cut billions out of services. You know, we just were in a room of people who are saying, you've done a lot, but there's more service that's needed. And so um, the, the Conservatives right now are saying that they, they think that government can step back, cut deep cuts into services, and we believe that's exactly the wrong thing to do at this moment. While he acknowledges that the visit is a step in the right direction, Preziers is still waiting for concrete government action. We know that there will be a budget, an budget, now in breve, and we hope that the Minister and the Premier will put some money to help these families, or at least to reduce the list of these families, at least with what there is now. The support is not any if we can't change the day-to-day of these families. Nós termos aqui não quer dizer nada, quer dizer, se houver mudanças, sim, depois então é que quer dizer que realmente que eles estão a escutar. Jennifer Ferreira, CMC TV.